Hello, everyone. Hope you are well. I hope you're having a good week so far. Are our financial systems about to go into total chaos? Uh, I am a little concerned, very concerned, not, not a little, that we're about to see a huge wave of financial chaos, uncertainty uh, that'll go through the rest of this, this month into early 2022. A little wary anyway of 2022. I've talked about that before. Uh, but uh, there's been some things going on today. Before I get to it, real quick, um, bear with me. Um, I just started a new job uh, this week uh, on this past Monday, on the 13th. So my time is a little uh, more limited right now. So I may not be able to squeeze out a video every day. But uh, so just know that. And, and two, please uh, bear with me. Please keep me in your prayers as well. I appreciate it. Back to the topic. Um, today, <clears throat> some stories coming out. Uh, among other things, uh, it looks like Germany is uh, teetering on uh, a recession right now. They are Europe's largest economy. Saw that in an article. Um, we've got a ransomware attack going on on the Kronos uh, HR systems that, that's happening uh, today. Uh, and it is disrupting how companies, and this cut across a lot of different industries, is, is uh, impacting how companies pay and manage their employees. So it's in, in the human resources um, systems. So if your company, if your employer uses Kronos uh, for, um, for their systems, you may have some trouble clocking in, clocking out, or being able to process pay. So check on that. <clears throat> uh, HR management group was, uh, was hit by a cyber ransomware attack that's hobbling its clients' access to payroll, uh, payroll handling, and timesheets. I've worked uh, payroll before myself, and I know that can be huge. I mean, any kind of disruption in that kind of software can really have a really bad impact on employees with the way they get paid, clocking in and out. So again, this is a, a Kronos ransomware attack uh, that's going on right now, okay? It's interesting that uh, we're seeing this uh, after just recently, I think it was last week, uh, there was a a huge simulation of a cyber attack. This was put on by 10 different countries. Uh, Israel led this, you might've heard about it, <clears throat> but they simulated a cyber attack on the global financial systems about a week ago, maybe less than a week. Uh, 10 countries, um, simulated war game. It evolved over several days. The simulation uh, had a scenario that caused chaos in the global markets and would cause a run on the banks. Uh, it simulated attacks that impacted global foreign exchange, bond markets, liquidity, and integrity of data, and transactions between importers and exporters. So that's interesting. Now, usually when we, in, in recent history, when we've seen these simulated simulated things going on, they, they tend to happen in real life later on, right? So that's concerning. And uh, at the same time, you have, <clears throat> this came out today too, that you know Congress, you might've seen this, they're trying to raise the national debt ceiling, the limit by 2.5 trillion. In fact, the Senate has passed that. The House just has to approve it. Running up against the deadline on that, I think this week. So you got inflation totally out of control right now. I'm sure you're seeing it in the stores right now. I'm also seeing uh, various reports of people saying they're they're noticing more the shelves are getting more bare uh, than they were just a couple of weeks ago. Part of that could be holidays. Still, you know, um, what are you seeing out there? Are you seeing that now? Are you seeing some spot gas shortages? Gas shortages. I know when we filled up last, there were several pumps that had the, the yellow bag over it. 
where for a while there I wasn't seeing any of that. So um, little little signs, little little concerning signs going on there, and different all with all different kind of things. Also, uh, shortly before 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency websites went haywire, and I forget the name of the company, but went crazy, went haywire, uh, causing wild, inaccurate prices to appear on the site, and unknown coins started listing in the top 10. Now, I'm not <clears throat> a cryptocurrency expert by any means. I know very little about it. Um, I just haven't gotten into that. Um, but that, that was a story that came out here right at the end of the business day today. So that's, that's several big things. I mean, you got Germany going into a recession. You've got the Fed, um, Federal Reserve is in a two-day meeting right now. You got inflation totally uh, off the hinges right now. We're trying to raise the national debt ceiling again. I mean, let's kick it down the road some more. Let's kick that can as far as we can, I guess. I mean, let's print more money. Let's print more cash. Hold on, folks. Just hold on tight because, like I said, I have a feeling. I just have this this uh, bad feeling that we're going to see some some craziness uh, in the in the markets in the uh, in the banks. And I wonder if the banks are in trouble. Part of the thing they simulated in this simulation was a run on the banks. Do you have cash on hand? You may want to reconsider. You may want to consider that if you don't keep cash on hand. Um, I would get some out. Keep gas in your cars. Don't let them go before. Don't let them go less than half a tank is my recommendation. That's what we do. Keep them as full as possible. Store a little bit if you can, but keep get some cash out. Could see, I just wonder, like I said, are the banks in trouble? What do you think? Uh, what is your view on this and, and your opinion? What are you hearing? Please share that. Um, I just have a wacky feeling. I'm wary anyway. Um, we could be seeing a roller coaster of craziness through this month, through the end of this month, as we slide into 2022. So keep prepping like crazy. Keep prepping. Don't slack off on that. Do something. Try to do something every day. That's a preparation thing, item. Um, let's keep praying. Uh, let's keep helping each other, and supporting each other. Let me know your thoughts. Take care of yourselves. Be well. God bless you. I'll see you soon.